what about covering in Panama multiple properties that are corporations in that country? And then I'm gonna also add in another question because it's very similar. Uh, someone else asked about Aruba. I have two insurances that are from the island. One is a must and paid every year through the HOA since it's a condo. And the second is an extra protection for my condo itself regarding items inside. So, I mean, both of those are uh, outside of the United States, so um, I'm guessing they may have the similar or same answer. So insurance is a highly regulated industry. And one of the barriers to entry, one of the reasons there's not five proper insurances across the nation is it's very complicated. Uh, every state regulates insurance differently. It's not a, a, a it's not, there's no federal regulation. There's no federal oversight. Uh, insurance Commissioner of California, Insurance Commissioner of Florida, Insurance Commissioner of Alabama. So in order to do business in all 50 states, you have to know the taxes and fees and regulations of every state. So that's the biggest barrier to entry to get into the business that we do. Um, unfortunately, for your guest who has properties outside the US, our primary focus is the United States. Um, on average, People say annually there's a 1.5 to 2 million vacation rental properties in the U.S. And it's just such a large market that that's where we're going to concentrate our time. Uh, we do not have current plans to expand outside of the U.S. because um, it, it's, it's, it's just such a large market already. I think we'd be doing a disservice to our U.S. clients by trying to spend time and allocate resources to go international when we're just not ready to do that. Now, if we do a podcast, Alana, in 10 years, <laughs> there, there might be a chance that, that we would go international. Okay, and hopefully we will be talking in 10 years and Amen. doing what we're doing. Amen. Thank you, Darren, makes total sense.